control stack and activation records. Control stack or runtime stack is used to keep track of the live processor activations that is the processors whose execution have not been completed. A processor name is pushed onto the stack when it is called that is nothing but when the activation begins the processor name is pushed and it is popped when the activation ends. Information needed by a single execution of a procedure is managed using an activation record or frame. When a procedure is called, an activation record is pushed into the stack and as soon as the control returns to the caller function, the activation record is popped. So for example, consider here the main function and in that we have uh, the A activation record. Uh, so before going to A activation record of main is created when A is called activation record of A is created. So here you can see uh, so before going to the A activation record so main is created first and when A is called when A is called activation record of A is created here. So activation record of A is created and then B is created. So after this calling of B again. So before going to B activation record of main and A in stack is been created. So here B and C is been created. That is before going to C activation record of main is created and B is pushed into the stack. So this is how in the following way it will be created. A general activation record consists of the following things. Uh, those are uh, uh, local variables. The, this is the contents of the activation records. Those are return values, actual parameters, control link, access link, saved mission status, local data and temporaries. So let's see what are those. Uh, local variables. They hold the data that is local to the execution of the procedure. And temporary values, they store the values that arise in the evaluation of an expression. And machine status, uh, that is saved machine status, it holds the information about status of machine just before the function hall. And next one is access link, it is an optional and it refers to a non-local data held in other activation records. And next one is control link, it points to activation record of the caller. And next one, return value. Uh, it is used by the called procedure to return a value to calling procedure. And actual parameters, it is called by calling procedures to supply parameters to the called procedures. And saved mission status, it holds the information about status of the mission before the procedure is the called. So this is the control stock, uh, control stack for the previous quicksort example we have used. Uh, so you can see the quicksort example. So in this we have a read array and uh, in the in the main function we have read array. So here we have written the control stack in this way. First in the stack the main is inserted and then the read array is the inserted. So read array execution completes when popped from the stack. Next quick sort is called so that it enters the stack so and, and after that what we have here after main and quick sort what we have here partition after main and quick sort in the following program we have partition so that enters into the stack main uh, read array after read array is being popped then in the quick sort the partition enters so partition execution completed when when it is popped out of the stack now quick sort is called again so that it enters into the stack so first we have the main is being created as the root node and for that we have read array when the read array is popped then the quick sort is called and in the quick sort we have partition after the partition is being completed after the partition execution is being completed and again the quick sort is being called so based on the given uh, program following program this is the control stack for the quick sort example